So when I first got here, I was on like trips for a month, back to back. So I was just like hotel rooms and stuff like that. I think we went on the Shep Dogs strip at the beginning. I've been staying at Ben Karpinski's house, the Hagers, Danes, all over the place. Kirby's down at Oceanside. Shout out to those guys for letting me stay. The best advice I can give for couch surfing and like staying at people's houses is to always make them miss you when you leave. Always, you know, I guess buy whatever they need, like toilet paper and stuff like that, and always cook. And I can cook, so that helps. Surf and turf, that always, that always wins over some hearts. It's amazing, it's really good. When it's cooked properly, there's like a dish at this pub that I go to back home. It's like a chicken parmigiana with kangaroo on it. It's really good. <laughs> it still gets me to this day, every single time. To even know that Tony Hawk even knows I exist is pretty fucking hilarious. From doing like book reports on him at high school to like having him know who I am. Well, I definitely didn't use rails to boards like that because that would have been terrifying. I'm definitely never going to do that. So what I did is, because it can lock up to the side, like you know those sketchy attempts where people try to feeble grind and they just like stick? and they just like fall forward really dramatically. I didn't want that to happen because you can get locked up and because it was kind of long. I think me and Ben looked at it and I was off it completely when I went like that because it just locked up completely. I didn't even want to do it. And then I was thinking later on that night, we're just like, what if we just put rails to the sides and then it didn't lock up if it did do that? And yeah, we tried that and it worked. I don't even th think I went that way anyway, but I think it was just for my peace of mind because I can be a bitch sometimes. Nose grind for sure. The nose grind got like to a point where I obsessed about it. I think it was like three weeks leading up to it was all I like, not all I thought about, but it was like always in the back of my mind. I was starting to like go to skate parks and just do nose grinds like ever. It almost got to the point, I think I like dreamt about it some nights. Just because I knew if I fucked that up, I wasn't, it was probably gonna end me for a while. I know Clive's been doing a lot of hectic stuff and same with Clint. Everybody. I guess I've been on like four trips or something. I've seen some of the stuff that's gone down. Everybody's, it's not really... I'm not even saying that because I have to say it. Like, everybody's sick. So, the homokis is a saying in Australia. I guess Australia, if you ever know Australians, they abbreviate every single thing that they can possibly do. And they make stuff up, I guess. Just because homoki, Aaron, always jumps down the biggest things in the world, you just automatically assume that he always has sore legs. I can't remember who originally came up with it. It wanted to be my friend Max. Once you've been jumping down something repeatedly, the next day, you're not hurt, but you're just like, you can't move your legs. It just, that just turned into Mokis. So funny the other day on a trip, I like said it to him without even realizing it. I don't even think he knew what was going on. I had to explain it to him, it was pretty funny. Having losing the van is sick. I've never been on a trip with a girl. The first trip I went on, it was really fun. She handles herself amazingly with a bunch of dirt bags in a van, shotgunning beers all the time. She kills it. She's definitely one of the boys, you know. It'd definitely be Kazakhstan on that visual traveling trip for sure. It was the funnest, best two weeks of my life, I reckon. Everybody's amazing. Everybody's so cool. The spots are amazing. I'm surprised no one else goes there. And the women, the girls are very, very attractive. Half Asian, half Russian. So it's like the perfect combination. Highly recommend it. It's definitely from growing up in Tasmania, for sure. You know, there's not very many Asian girls down there, I guess. I don't know. Something is just like, I can name probably about 50 people off the top of my head that have it as well. It's just, I don't know, it just happens. We filmed this video back in the day, when I was a lot younger, probably like five or six years ago, Jeff Campbell made it, Seki Fresh. You should definitely check it out, it's online. Because the security guards don't have any right in Australia, so you can just basically go on skate malls and do whatever. So we were just like, kind of causing ruckus around Melbourne. And there was always this rail in one of the spots we used to always skate. Perfect double king. Look, there's a death drop on the other side. Always wanted to board slide it, and I think it was like, I was trying to get a last trick for that shake jump part or whatever. We are getting kicked out. I guess we are skating at a mall, so I guess people were getting pretty pissed off about it. And just one of the attempts, I just 
there was no way I was even going to bail. I was going for it 100%. Luckily, it stuck where it did because if it stuck any early, I probably would not be here talking to you guys. Yeah, I just hit my foot and had to get stitches and hit my head. I got knocked out for like, yeah, not, not that long. Just because when I stuck, I just remember just thinking, oh, here we go. Like, this is that one time I fucked up and yeah, never skated again. But yeah, kind of, yeah, I'm kind of over that though now. <laughs> not going to try that again, I don't think. I'm off up. Free lunch. Yeah. That works.